waiting here at uh, road construction and um, yeah I'm a little bit <clears throat> between Mori and some other town I can't pronounce um, so I'm getting close to the Qu Queensland border so yep so it's about uh, 8 o'clock and uh, I'm just about done packing um, it's 8 in the morning that is and uh, I'm gonna go to the airport in the next hour or so and I fly out around 11 um, so yeah it's been good um, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna come back one of these days so um, yes yeah, to Australia I'll be back so um, Australia loves me so much that they won't let me leave um, I I went to Brisbane to try to fly out and I go to the counter and they had no record of me on the flight on the, for the ticket I had bought a month you know or two months earlier and so they had no record of my name on the flight at all so got that all straightened out barely got to the airport on time got on my plane the plane was half empty and uh, which was interesting and then um, I get into Sydney I go to United to get a um, boarding pass and the flight had been cancelled so now I'm stuck in Sydney and um, they, at least they gave me a nice hotel. So this is my hotel, and um, so yeah, it's better than the last one I stayed at. So uh, I'm gonna see if I have internet so I can work later. I made some friends, so um, maybe I'll see if I can get them to go on camera too. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I don't feel so good. I just ate like three ducks at the all-you-can-eat buffet, but uh, I showed United. Those ducks are like $30 a piece. <laughs> so, uh, um, what happened here is my flight was canceled, and so United gave me this earlier today. Um, they put me at the Mercure something airport hotel and um, the, it includes lunch, dinner, and breakfast. Um, so I just did dinner, I believe, and there's breakfast at like 6 a.m. But uh, yeah, so um, they offered me their sincere apologies for inconvenience for the, cla the cancellation of flight 870. Then they come to my hotel room after making me a new flight. They, they put me on um, this other flight that's kind of similar times. It leaves at 12.30. Um, it's, you know, obviously a day later. But then they give me this. They come by by my door. And then they they cancel my next flight. See that? Has been canceled. Canceled. Um, so they gave me a new one. Now I'm going to LA. And um, it's like an hour later than the other one was going to be. So hopefully they don't do any more funny business and cancel anymore. So, anyway. So now, um, me and my new friends, um, who I will hopefully introduce you to briefly um, coming up here, we are going to take a cab to downtown Sydney and entertain ourselves down by the Opera House somehow. Anyway, um, I'm going to take my camera and, uh, yeah. <clears throat> G'day, mate. I'll pull it out. I was in Queensland. It was like, <laughs> Queenslanders are a bit different than West Coast. You know we are here waiting for the uh, taxi. You guys just call them taxis, taxi, right? Taxi. Yeah, for the taxi. <laughs> Brett um, hails from Michigan. We're out of Michigan. Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids, Michigan. And uh, we have all been abandoned by our airlines. <laughs> and uh, so uh, we are enjoying ourselves in Sydney for this, this evening. And uh, Carrie is from Perth. And uh, Shannon is from Canada. Yes. I always wondered why it wasn't called Canada. Mm. America, Australia. Canada. <laughs> Prince Edward Island, somewhere. Yeah. What town? Um, it's not really a town. It's um, near a town called. Do you have? No. <laughs> yes. It's more like a village. <laughs> That is the Opera House, and that is a bridge. What bridge? The coat hanger. <laughs> the, co <laughs> the, the coat hanger. The coat hanger. Oh, is my phone ringing again? So do you have a lot of good video on there? Yes. <laughs> oh, 
love it. What, what's it called? The Opera House White Tea. The Opera House White Tea. Yeah. That's 16. <laughs> It's a pretty good skyline in Sydney. This is There's one in Perth over there. Sydney's oldest pub. Where? Do I go there? Interesting. So, uh, what are your uh, what's your favorite part of Sydney? My favorite part of Sydney. Yes. Um, I really like where I live in Surrey Hills. Fairly artsy, eclectic kind of, uh, very central. And um, geez, am I on video right now? Maybe. <laughs> I also really like Darling Harbour, which I'm hoping we can go to after this because it's a uh, well, it's not really a fun walk, but it's really nice to enter. Um, Off my camera, I think it might be too dark. Oh, uh, those are some giant whale things. Spider Man is climbing down this building at the IMAX theater. Three hundred on the IMAX would be intense. I'm about to go downstairs, eat some breakfast, and uh, take the shuttle to the airport. So uh, we'll see if they let me leave the country this time. So hopefully I can be back in America in like, I don't know, 20 hours or so. But on board the aircraft today must be the size and type to fit directly underneath the seats in front of you or in our overhead lockers not to exceed their weight maximums. Please remember that you need to not allow mail carts or luggage carriers in our overhead nor computer storage in our seat pockets. If you have any articles that are... <clears throat> I just made it home uh, here to Yelm. Drove back from, from Seattle. It's like 4 p.m. I think on, I don't know what day it is or anything. That might be Wednesday, I think, but I think I already lived Wednesday once. Um, and uh, yeah, I made it. They finally let me on the planes. I got to fly first class, and uh, so that was good. But uh, yeah, I'm tired now. I think I'm going to take a nap.